Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So the pattern through the 15th will favor the Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. And then the whole pattern's going to shift to the south. 216 through about 221, it'll hit California, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. And notice the overlap with Wyoming between the first pattern and the second. I think the Tetons are going to be a snow bullseye. When you look at all locations, I think they have the best shot of seeing the heaviest snow, potentially two feet or more when you factor in both patterns. So we'll look at those numbers coming up. But overall this morning, I just think the pattern, once it shifts down, back to the Central Rockies looks less organized. It's kind of disappointing to see. A couple of three days ago, it looked very promising. Now, even that initial storm, as I was talking about yesterday afternoon in the update, is trending faster and weaker. Everything is just a little bit more ragged, unfortunately. Looking at the Northeast, that 213 storm system coming tomorrow, or late tonight into tomorrow, is trending even further south. That may pull entirely the snow out of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine on 213. It's possible that it does. There's another storm coming on 216 with more general snow for all those areas, but I'll look at that and look at the numbers and the forecast coming up. I want to take you to water vapor satellite imagery. There's a lot of things going on. There's an area of low pressure up here. There's another one behind it. There's another area of low pressure here, and then there's a fourth one here. Now, not all these. The first two are actually part of the, uh, the Pacific Northwest BC pattern. They're going to be rolling up here. The last two are going to catch a ride on this subtropical jet streak that's going to come through, and the whole thing will then translate it into California, and then pieces of it will move into the Central Rockies, 216 through probably 221, 222. So it's kind of split between the two. Here's the jet pattern, and notice the current. This is by late today at 11.30 p.m. It's, it's running across the northern tier, so all the moisture areas of low pressure will just get steered across the northern tier. By tomorrow, uh, end of day, that's the pattern. Here we go, Wednesday, there's Thursday. Now things on the 16th start to shift a little bit, start to come back down to the south. You can see the subtropical jet taking over, escorting in a couple different areas of low pressure. But 216, 217, one looked like it was going to be a promising period, but now, um, it, it, again, that storm system is going to be much faster and weaker through. Here's 218 end of day. There's 219, nice storm system hitting California, and then piece of that 221. 222 would then move into the interior. All right, looking at the moisture content here, here's the forecast radar and satellite by the 5.30 hour today. Again, precips in the northern tier. Same for tomorrow, morning, afternoon. Same for the 14th and the 15th. Now, this is a little more. As it starts to slip to the south, it starts to brush parts of the central and northern uh, uh, mountain zones of Colorado, starts to brush um, the, the Wasatch as that transition happens between 15 and 16. You see it all starts to slip to the south. And then once we get into 217, 218, we're looking to the west for the next storm system. Here it comes, rolls through the Intermountain West. But notice everything is pretty fast. There's nothing really well consolidated, not like it was two or three days ago when we were looking at this and we had that frontal boundary and the great focusing and our graphics. Not quite there now. 219, big storm, that's the bigger one, probably hits California and tries to come out. Uh, it takes a southern track, but even it comes out in pieces. So that's what I'm saying. When I say the port, that the pattern is just less organized, it's just not as consolidated. You know, you don't have these big bullseye areas of low pressure. It's just not as consolidated. All right, looking at the latest numbers. So next 48 hours, today, tomorrow, it's all northern tier, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and B.C. Period 2, 214 to 216, we start to see the pattern slip to the south a little bit. Uh, some snow in the central and northern mountains of Colorado and the Wasatch, but look at the bullseye. So in the period before it, we had, let's just say, 6 inches over the Tetons. Now we add another, you know, 20. We're looking at 2 feet right there uh, between the two periods. Some decent snows up in the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon. Starting to see California pick up a little bit of snow. Final period, 217 to 221, we add at least another foot for the Tetons. So that's why I'm saying two to three feet um, in the Tetons. That is a bullseye. If I were to set up shop somewhere and just ski for a week, it'd be in the Tetons. Um, and then in the, the, the Wasatch, this third period, pick up about a foot. So you're looking at one to two feet for the Wasatch. In Colorado, um, we pick up another probably three to eight inches. Here's the period before it in Colorado. Most of it's central to northern mountains, probably 4 to 10. Pick up another 3 to 8. So that's a decent stretch 
but not as good as it was looking a few days ago. California, you may pick up a foot during that period. All right, so in the Northeast, what once looked like it was going to be a banner snowstorm for late 212 and a 213 no longer looks that way. The storm track has shifted to the south, so very little accumulation in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Most of what you see right here in, at the major ski areas comes on 216, um, unfortunately. Uh, but looking at probably three to eight inches during that time period. A little more up in JP, keeping doing exceptionally well this year, um, right up there on the northern border. Um, most of what comes through on 213 is probably Massachusetts, southern New York State, and south of there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.